And welcome back on Take Action News. This is executive producer Daniel Marins doing a special report segment with Ali Garib, who's the senior editor of Open Zion. Ali joins us right now from Ramallah in the West Bank, Palestinian territories. Ali, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So, Ali, you've been in Israel and the Palestinian territories now for quite some about, time. And about two weeks, yeah. And I, I've been enjoying your updates. Um, they're really sort of compelling and great reporting. You specifically did some work recently reporting on Palestinian protest movements that have that have occurred before, but also especially were hyped up during President Obama's visit. What what exactly did you see? Right. Well, you know, there's been a growing trend of uh, of unarmed and sometimes nonviolent pro Palestinian protests against the Israeli occupation uh, in the West Bank. And, you know, you could read about it last week in the sort of blockbuster front page, or sorry, cover New York Times Magazine article by Ben Ehrenreich uh, about these kinds of movements. And, and they're generally targeted against either certain policies, the construction of the wall, or in the case of the village Nabi Saleh that Ben Ehrenreich wrote about, about the Israeli settlers' takeover of their well. Um, but this past week, most of the, these protest actions were pegged to Obama's visit. And uh, on Wednesday, when Obama arrived, about the same time that, he, that his plane touched down at Ben Gurion Airport, I was down in, uh, in, in Hebron, which is a southern West Bank city that has a, a, a really radical settler population of a few hundred people um, right in the heart of the city. And, you know, there's a few houses dotting the area, and then the settlers are. are in a few buildings along one street called Shuhada Street that's actually closed for Palestinians to even walk down. It's what's called the Sterile Road uh, in the nomenclature of the, the Palestinian military. And, uh, and so the protest concept was simple. A, a group of young activists put on masks that, that of, uh, of Barack Obama and Martin Luther King. They were teachers that said, I have a dream. They sang uh, old black spirituals that were the anthems of the civil rights movement and, you know, uh, held Palestinian flags and did nothing more than walk down the center of the street. And that's all it took to draw an uh, incredibly angry reaction from the local settlers, and more importantly, uh, you know, soldiers armed with M16 rifles who quickly ran in, shoved them to the ground, and, and arrested about a third of the protesters that were there, including several Palestinians, a couple of international supporters, and two Israelis who were with them. Were, were you at all in danger of being arrested yourself for, for observing on hand? Well, I was worried about it. Um, if, they, if, they, if, if they tried to stop me, I suppose I could say that I was, uh, uh, I'm allowed to be there as an as a international member of the press, but I'm not sure that that would have flown. I mean, it was pretty clear that, that uh, there wasn't much regard for, you know, I, I was sort of embedded with the activists that when I'd walked down the hill with them. And there was no regard for really anybody's safety except for the uh, the group of settlers who at, at some point um, ran up and, you know, would kick Palestinians as they were being detained on the ground. And they were the only ones really being protected by the army. So, you know, it, it, I, I imagine that there was some danger of being arrested, but I managed to, to stay out of most of the scrums and didn't attract the ire of the army. <laughs> 